you know, crafting what the test is going to be. To make a kid stressed, just say test. Uh, so that's the test you see in the middle. Yikes. So what? Now just imagine the pressure if that test had the potential to alter human history. Not really pressure, but just the excitement and seeing that light at the end of the tunnel is really uh, where we're at right now. When NASA entered that tunnel, it was taking a shot in the dark, hopeful it could do what had never been done. We're trying to make a sonic boom into a sonic thump. And fly a quiet supersonic flight. No one has ever done that aspect before. At least, not yet. After years of tweaking and testing, NASA's X-59 plane will finally fly this year. I got to fire up the engine the other day. Nils Larsen is the test pilot who will fly it. That's what we're going for. Get you across the country twice as fast to go see grandma. Ever since we turned the engines on, it became real. She, she was alive. Kathy Baum is X-59 project so manager. We started building this aircraft. Wednesday, she, Nils, and other NASA officials talked to students at Dallas's Frontiers of Flight Museum about the plane. Okay, we're going to go a little bit faster and a little bit faster and a little bit faster. They explained how the X-59 will fly supersonic, faster than the speed of sound. We've been working on this plane for a long time. Which is nothing new. No, we're not breaking the sound barrier for the first time. That was Chuck Yeager over 75 years ago. The problem was it made a very, very loud sonic boom to go along with that fast speed. Sonic booms had the power to break windows, damage eardrums, and terrify grandmas. And it was so loud and disturbing. For that reason, flying supersonic is now illegal. So that's really what we're trying to change. Seven years of work led to this engineering marvel. So it's really exciting. At supersonic speeds, the X-59 will sound like a car door shutting in the distance. Following a few more ground tests, it will fly over numerous cities around the country. NASA will ask people on the ground if the sound bothered them. If the sound is less than this amount. If successful, restrictions may be lifted, allowing you to get where you're going in half the time. Then we can get supersonic flight back. It may be decades before it's available commercially. That's just many of the different ways. That... By then, we'll know NASA engineered it, and these kids built it. It just makes me even more excited to see what can I do to better leave off a place where they can continue to go off of. In other words, invest in the future, and you'll get there faster. In Dallas, I'm Sean Giggy.